Well, hello everyone. Look what turned up on my doorstep today. <laughs> um, the chap that I did the um, wing it concrete mixer uh, quite a while ago last year or whenever it was turned up and said is there any way I could um, do something with this mini digger bucket he said it's been sat around for a while and somebody's had a bodge at repairing it before welding looks a bit crap so um, I think the best thing he bought me a piece of big steel plate that um, he said might make the blade but quite honestly I think the the blade part itself is a lot thicker and probably better anyway so I think what I'll do is straighten these sides up cut them level I might add a piece of that plate in here or on the outside I'm not sure which to uh, straighten it I might see if I can cut this bit off and put a different bit on and then I might turn this up cut this off here straighten it all up and put that back and weld it on see what um, I think that might be a bit better and also it's got um, from the look of it it's got a few holes in here so I think that bit wants cutting out there and replacing which that plate will probably do for yeah big big hole so if I take it off here and use a piece of that plate to uh, to go in there I think that's probably going to be the best so anyway that's what needs doing I'm not sure my MIG welder isn't good enough for that it certainly it wouldn't be big enough um, so I'll either I'll either stick weld it or uh, arc weld it for those that um, know what we're on about or I might um, I might try and TIG weld it I'll do uh, multiple passes on the thing and that would um, give me an opportunity to use my let me just have a look when I bought this MIG welder this TIG welder I bought a second oh, I bought a second um, head and everything but this is all water cooled and I haven't used it yet because I haven't done anything that big it, it runs off this and it pumps water through the uh, through the gun for long periods of heavy duty work so and um, I haven't used it yet so that might um, might give me a perfect opportunity to uh, to test that out I think so I might do that anyway I'll uh, I'll cut it up and straighten it up and then um, figure out what to do so I'll bring you back when I'm getting uh, somewhere close cheers for now all right hello everyone all right I've cut that bottom bit out because that was really thin and bashed um, I'm gonna reuse that because that's the right thickness for the job but what I'm gonna do is I'm just cutting out the new plate for this that'll be the new plate this plate's got a bit of a bend in it which is good because that'll fit on there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this if you can see it cut that down there and make some new ends because these are add it anyway I'll make them out of that plate and I'll use the shape to uh, to follow it so that will be a whole new front of a bucket so anyway that's what I'm doing so I'm just doing a bit of um, plasma cutting let's see if that will uh, stick on there hopefully you can see that Uh, 
burn my ruler again. Always burning my ruler. I have to move it now, so I've got a nice straight edge to go to. fit in there. Lovely jubbly perfect. The arms want pulling in a bit. Right, I'll tack that in place and then carry on to see what I've got to do. Back in a bit. Cheers for now. Right, I've tack welded that on. So first of all I'm going to weld that in. Do it with the um, Heart welder, stick welder, whatever you want to call it. Uh, right, oh, that's on the wrong one, that's got to be on number nine.
pass and then I'll do um, a couple of overlaps to make it nice and strong. Right, I'll get on with that, I'll see you in a bit. Right, that's the bottom welded in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this this off, this edge. I'm going to use this other edge as a template. Uh, I'll put that on there and draw around it. I can um, make another one. Well, let's put you up here. I'll just cut this off. in a bit. Right. That looks about right. So we'll weld all that together now. Um, let me put you down again somewhere so you might be able to see. Something like that I think. Let me just bring you up a touch. Okay. 
on welding that up and I'll show you when we finish. Cheers for now. Alright, uh, hello again. Sort of bring you back for the last few welds. So just well I'll just route past the um, that one. So I've just got to do a, um, a couple of fillers and then the one up the side here. Um, can't remember what I did the back there. Oh yes of course. Right. Nearly that whole pack. Amazing how much. No, uh, probably about half the pack. It's a bit more. Amazing how much you use when you're doing root pass, filler pass, and overpass, and underpass, and car pass, bicycle pass. Right, last one in here.
forward, man. What a mess. What a mess. A hate mess. Can you see? I think you can see. One short one there. And a couple down here. Let's see if I can get this a bit cleaner.
đồ vào đấy There you go. All done. Lovely jubbly. Well that looks a bit better than it did. Right. Welder of choice. Artec 210 EXT AC DC TIG welder with um arc function there you go then thanks for watching see you on the next one cheers for now